In this video I tried to describe you why it's important to use DTO instead of entity objects. Uh, let's assume you have a project and you need to uh, create a new functionality to display, for example, all users from the database. You have a table for a user, it's kind of a default table as you can see. Um, you, you can see this table in a lot of projects uh, among the internet. So it's, it has some uh, user ID, some uh, personal data of users like login and password to authenticate users, some email, phone and other data. Let's assume you write a new functionality for your project and you decide to uh, use a user entity instead of uh, pasting this to DTO because it's really convenient. Here I created such method. I created repository, uh, I created service, and here we see the controller. Uh, in, inside the controller I just call the service and I uh, grab find uh, all from the service. In, inside the service I just grab all from the user repository, find all, uh, pass entity users. Uh, and here you can see my user entity is just a super entity class and it uh, it's just uh, the class for working with database but uh, in in this uh, in this case i decided to use this uh, this object as for example uh, as an object to return back to the controller and that's the error uh, when you run the application and you try to call this api you will see that you receive all the fields from the user even though fields that shouldn't be revealed uh, for example password password never should be revealed especially in not encrypted way but it's not the worst case uh, the worst case, case that you reveal the uh, data the uh, should be hidden from others and this uh, why you should use DTO instead of entity classes in the first place and the next one as you can see for example this password uh, it has some great capacity uh, and right now it just displays the password and a lot of uh, empty spaces around uh, and if you will use dto you can uh, add some additional settings uh, on top of your DTO class to uh, perform some operations on the fields, for example, on hidden fields, on uh, the um, empty fields, on null fields, etc. Uh, let's just change our example to use the DTO and you see the difference. Uh, let's back, get back to the IntelliJ and create DTO. Uh, users DTO. And inside this DTO, we can put only those uh, fields we need to reveal to the customers, for example, to the front end, to the other service. We can uh, we can reveal only those fields we assume will be safe to reveal. Let's say we wanna reveal only uh, ID, only email, and let's say phone number to these endpoint and inside the DTO we can just put something like uh, integer ID we can uh, or we can even re rename the fields uh, to be not the same as in database something something like uh, identificator user uh, public stream email phone number and we can specify data to generate getters and setters and inside the um, user entity service uh, right now we can return user DTO and it will be much better from the programming perspective to return the DTO instead of entity uh, inside the service we need to specify entity uh, DTO instead of entity and yeah it will add additional work uh, when you program uh, but it will users at least but it will uh, store um, save you some time after 
when you debug your pro uh, your application and will find where do you have a data leak or something like that so you can all you need is just uh, loop through the users uh, using you can use stream uh, which were uh, supposed in the Java 8 and you can use stream to uh, pretty loop through the list of your entities and map them to the detour and let's create map you can specify some converter a user detour from entity to detour In this project I already have user details so I created a new one and you can specify for example orx constructor and orx constructor and entity get id entity get email entity get phone number it's long And when you map, you can just lo uh, loop through the list, map it from entity to the TTO, collect to the list, uh, use the method reference, and return the list of DTOs instead of users. Uh, not much code uh, compared to the previous example, but it's, uh, it's much more... Uh, it's correct it's more correct from the programming perspective and then you will restart the application you will see that you reveal only those fields you want to reveal uh, let me get back to the postman hit once again and you can see that you have your fields as you want them to show to the clients and you can see that you can have the amount of exact amount of fields and you can control that a data which you reveal from your IP. And that's it for today. I guess I, in this video, I managed to co to convince you to use DTO instead of entity objects. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Stay tuned and goodbye.